Hi everybody, this is Kwabana from OpenMV, and today I'm going to be showing off a new experimental feature on your OpenMV cam, which lets you run convolutional neural networks. Uh, pretty much, as a little bit of background, ARM released about a month ago the, their new uh, DSP library uh, for Cortex microcontrollers, which allows you to run uh, convolutional neural networks on them. In particular, you can train these networks on your computer using standard libraries like TensorFlow, and then take the network and put it on embedded hardware. In particular, uh, in this example, we're going to show off using the uh, CIFAR 10 network, um, which only uses up about 87 kilobytes of data for weights and 55 kilobytes of data for activations. This is small enough to fit on the uh, OpenMB Cam M7's 320 kilobytes of uh, RAM and frame buffer space. Um, anyway, let's see it in action. So using OpenMV IDE, you can easily see the output of the OpenMV cam and see what it's thinking about this. As you can see right over here, it's getting some pretty wrong results on that guy. Um, but over here, looks like it's detecting this is a frog. Um, so this is just a uh, standard, uh, very small neural network. It's not um, particularly robust. And we're just going to be showing it random images without really trying to crop them at all or anything like that. Um, it's still pretty impressive that it's able to, you know, handle this at all and get a correct answer. Um, anyway, um, so using this, uh, this example that's going to be built into your OpenMV cam, you can just point it at pictures of cats and dogs and frogs and various other cute animals and see that it can identify them. Um, this demo is able to run at about uh, 4 FPS on the OpenMV cam right now. Uh, because we're doing the uh, convolution on a three colored image, um, once you uh, subtract out color and do everything on grayscale images, the uh, speed should improve considerably up to about 12 FPS. And then um, beyond that, when uh, we come out of our next generation Open MV cam based on the uh, STM32H7, you should see another 2 to 3x performance increase. So we hope to hit that by the end of the year for uh, neural network performance. Anyway, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's able to get most of these images right. Um, anyway, let's just uh, continue showing off some other things. So here we got a bird. Um, and some more birds. Let's see. Oh, no, it thinks it's a horse. Oh, wait, now it's a bird. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is just a new experimental feature we're showing off. Um, if you want to go further and actually do something very useful, you're going to have to build um, the OpenMV Cam firmware and muck around and see. Uh, in the future, though, we plan to build out a framework that'll, that will allow you to uh, export models from your computer and run them on the OpenMV Cam. Um, anyway, until then, please enjoy this demo. Um, so this feature will be available in the next uh, firmware release for the OpenMV Cam, so you'll be able to play around with this very soon and edit the code to your heart's content. Um, and I think I have, so automobiles are a little bit hard to see because they're slightly larger than the frame, the 32 by 32 image frame. Let's see, can we get this one perfectly? Yeah, okay, you can see that's automobile. And I also have airplanes loaded up here. All right. Yep. Is it an airplane? Is it an automobile? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is the uh, power of the new ARM neural network library running on OpenMV Cam. Um, we'd like to thank ARM for uh, doing the work to make this possible. Um, and uh, we hope to see uh, efforts from the community to make uh, it easier to export neural networks from uh, standard desktop libraries and, and put them into a binary format that, that's runnable on uh, smaller embedded systems like the OpenMV Cam. Um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. That's all, folks. Bye-bye. Let me see if I can get this one last guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, airplane.